have this conversation with you guys real quick. I don't know if you saw the recent video that I posted here on my channel. First of all, I just joined TikTok. Yes, I did. Well, I've been on TikTok for a while, but I really don't. I didn't know how to work the TikTok, but now I know how to work the TikTok. <laughs> so I'm on TikTok now. And I posted a video the other day that was really awesome that I personally liked. And I posted it here on my shorts on YouTube and it got a lot of views. And I wanted to go ahead and pull apart what I was talking about in this video. Here it is in case you missed it. When they say you look like a man, if you look like Fire. look like a certified 8-9 or 10 natural. Ah, so the, the, the age old uh, myth that if you lift weights as a woman, you're gonna look like a man. Girl, you're gonna look at, like a man. It's a man, maybe? No, listen, ladies, I wanna have a conversation with you today to tell you why I advocate for weight training so much here on my channel and why I think that you taking on that approach when it comes to your weight loss efforts, or even if you're already skinny, honey, you're trying to, you're trying to tone up, you want to go ahead and have that curvy physique before you call Dr. Miami or any other of those plastic surgeons, I want to tell you why I think this is an important part of your femininity journey. Oh my gosh. Mind blown. Who would have thunk femininity and weight training? Oh my gosh. Oh guys, yes. Let us talk, ladies. If you're new here though, before we begin, before we jump into that, if you are new here, I want to welcome you to my channel. My name is Roxy Beckles. I am a self-development coach. I am a life coach who focuses on working with women and we help women to put fitness at the driving factor behind all change. Here on my channel, we talk about the four pillars of fitness and that is your physical fitness, your mental fitness, your spiritual fitness, and your emotional fitness. So if this is your first time here, honey, you do not want to miss a video. So make sure that you subscribe, subscribe right now and hit the bell notification, set it to all notifications. So that way you do not miss a single video. To my returning viewers and subscribers, I say, welcome, darling. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome back. Mwah. You know, I am so happy to have you guys here. Stop what you're doing, no matter what you're doing, stop right now. And go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Hit the thumbs up button and let me know that you love topics like this. And you want me to continue to go ahead and talk about them. Now, I am looking to work with five women, five women between now and the end of this year who are looking to change their bodies and change their lives in a major way. If that is you, I want you to stay to the very end of this video because I'm going to tell you how you can go ahead and set up a 20 minute appointment with me that can literally change your life. All right, guys, let's go ahead and let's Let's jump right in and talk about this weight training thing. So I'm probably going to get a lot of slack for it because you guys get so freaking sensitive about everything on YouTube. But the video that I put out, it said that, you know, weight training, everybody thinks that weight training is going to make a woman look like a man. But instead, what it's going to do, it's going to help you to look like a certified eight, nine or ten, baby. Naturally. Ow. And I, I'm not taking it back. OK, you none of you, none of you can take away this body, baby. Baby, okay, you can't take away the I'm just saying, honey, you know, you walk in a room and then you have that poise, you have that grace, you have that feminine confidence. You know you're fine, honey. The hair is looking cute. You got the little flower in your hair. You smell so good. You smell like a flower. You can't, t you can't tell me I ain't fine. Honey, you can't tell me it ain't fine, okay? You may, y'all might, might wanna make fun of me, tell me I look like this, that, and the third, but honey, it's about the, the whole package, right? Certified eight, nine, or 10, okay? Get onto that bar, honey. You, got, you gotta go to the bar and not the alcoholic bar, baby. You got to go to the Olympic bar. You gotta get under the bar. You gotta do them squats. You gotta do them deadlifts. You gotta do them lunges. You gotta pull those bars down. You gotta learn how to do Pull ups, honey, pull ups, ladies, okay? You got the bicep curls, the triceps, everything, okay? Even the abs, I know some of y'all like to work the abs. I need you to start to train. You can't, I, listen, 
Everybody has that question. How do I get a body like yours? Oh, girl, you look so good. Girl, what you? What do you do? Like, you do you work out? Do you, it's just people asking me, you work out? You run? I'd be like, yeah, you know, I'll lift weights and do, oh, I can't do that. Why can't you do that? Ladies, the body that you all want, that athletic body, that, and, and not, you guys don't even realize that it's an athletic body. The booty, that's very popular. The thighs, the thighs save lives, that tiny waist, that is not achieved only by genetics. And let me say that for a lot of, for not a lot, but for, for some women, they are genetically inclined to that, you know? But even for them, it takes them to work out to really bring that out. And when you see a woman who actually trains and works out and has those beautiful legs, those full glutes, tiny waist, nice toned upper body and stuff, and she looks great, she still looks like a woman, that's genetics and it's training. And though, even though there may be some of you who are not genetically blessed, let's say you're built like a pear and not like an hourglass. Let's say you're built like an apple and not an hourglass. It's okay, you wanna, you wanna work out in a way that's gonna enhance your shape. And here's a trick. This is a trick from the training world, from the bodybuilding world, from a coach and fitness professional has been at this for a long time. I'm gonna tell you right now, what you can do is take a look at your shape and look at the body parts that you want to improve. So if you're someone who has more of a pear shape and you want that hourglass, right? For you, that means you have to actually build up your upper body. You gotta tighten up those legs and you probably have to lose a little bit of fat. If you're someone who has more of an apple shape. Now, if you're an apple, we already know that you got weight to lose there. So for you, it's gonna be you losing fat and losing weight and then getting into the weight room to train yourself all over, particularly in your lower and upper half as well. But the most important thing in this equation, guys, or ladies, I'm talking to you specifically, is to get in the gym with weights and don't be afraid of it. Here's the thing that I always say, unless you are on a stack of fantastic steroids, like you are on the steroid mix, don't do it, guys, okay? This girl recently got arrested who ordered steroids online and the feds came for her and arrested her and now she's going to be going to jail. Don't do it, okay? Anyway, I digress. Unless you're on a stack of fantastic steroids, ladies, you are not going to turn into a man. You are not genetically blessed enough to turn into a man. Trust me on this. And I don't say that to be insulting, I just mean it. I just mean it. You don't have enough testosterone to get there. So don't be afraid to push yourself. You know, I was always obsessed with action heroes like Shira and Chitara and Storm. Oh my gosh, I loved those characters. And what I loved about those characters is that, yeah, they had muscle. Yeah, they were like athletic, but they were always so like just strongly confident and feminine. And that's how I want you to start approaching your workouts. That's how I want you to start approaching actual weight training. So instead of looking at it as something that can hinder what you want to do, look at it as something that's going to help to shape and mold you into the exact kind of body that you want for your definition of femininity. And I'm going to be honest with you, a lot of men, they, they like fit women. And I'm not talking about bodybuilder kind of women. That's a specific kind you know, of niche <laughs> and guys that like that kind of a look. You know, a lot of guys don't like that super hard and super lean look. And I'm not even telling you to get there at all. Many of you won't. It's really hard to actually get to that level. But men love fit bodies. They love fit women. We hear about this conversation all the time. So if you are someone who is single, is trying to attract, you know, a quality guy, or even if you're married and you want to be attractive for your husband or your partner, whatever you have going on, whatever the situation, honey, it's so empowering to get into that gym and to own your body in that way. And finally, of course, there's health benefits to weight training, right? When you get in the gym, you're lifting weights, you're building up your bone density. And osteoporosis is something that every woman has to worry about, particularly as she gets older and passes through menopause. Weight training can help with your sex drive, ladies. It's gonna raise your natural testosterone. It's gonna make you rum, 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 rum in the bedroom, okay? So you definitely wanna make sure that you get that workout in. And also, it increases your metabolism by adding more muscle onto your frame. When you have more muscle, your body burns more calories even while at rest. And there's so much confidence that you just 
developing yourself as a woman to know that you are strong, that you can go through the world and feel like, you know, you can like be on top of it because you have this body that can make you feel like you can last forever. You know, exercise is the true fountain of youth, ladies. It really is. And when you really start to get in there and you really start to do it in a serious way, I promise you it's going to help to change your entire life. So what are your thoughts? Are you a woman out there who does weight train or have you recently started getting into weight training? How has it impacted your confidence? How has it changed your body? How does it impact your mood? Why don't you share your experiences below to help to encourage other women who are afraid of getting under that weight, getting under that bar because they think you're going to look like a man. Oh, honey, no, you won't. Ladies, share your thoughts below for my guys that are going to watch this. Guys, what do you think about fit? women what are your thoughts when you see a woman at the gym working out and doing her thing and then when you see her out in the street in her best outfit and you're like whoa that body go on and share your thoughts below and what you think about women who lift weights ladies and gentlemen i hope that today's uh, conversation was inspiring enlightening entertaining of course please make sure that you go ahead you subscribe right now hit the bell notification set to all notifications so that way you do not miss a single video give this video a thumbs up and share it share it with someone that you know that needs to hear this message now as i said i'm looking to work with five women right now i want to work with five new women who are super serious about taking their training their nutrition their health and their femininity their empowerment Empowered womanhood to the next level. I want to talk to you over a 20 minute clarity call. And during that call, it is a full on coaching session. And we're going to look at one aspect that is keeping you stuck right now and giving you the tools that you need and a fully planned out roadmap to get you going and get you started to your results and permanent results at that. Now, this is not a free call, but it is super affordable. And I promise you by the end of it, you are going to feel so much better. You're going to feel so much more enlightened. You're going to feel like you know what you need to do next to get yourself started and moving to the next level. Ladies, you don't have to do it alone, especially if someone like me is out here who knows that it is my duty, my obligation, my responsibility, and my passion to help someone just like you to reach it to the next level. So come on by to rockstarfitness.com slash work with Roxy to go ahead and reserve your spot for a 20 minute clarity call. Thank you so much for joining and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.